Hello guys and welcome once more to another review here with FS Media with your friend Frank. I want to thank you because you're watching this video and I want to apologize because we've been weeks and weeks without uploading any videos and the reason for it is because we got really jammed with a lot of work that we have to get done. But passing that, today we're going to be talking about audio. Our friends from Saramonic, they have sent up four different microphones for on-camera microphone that they want us to test. And they have sent us four different models so we can test it for you. The first model that we have here is the Saramonic SR-M3. This is a very lightweight uh, shotgun mic, directional condenser mic that use a battery on the top. Then they send us this little uh, SR-PM IC2 and this is a really a small um, a stereo microphone. This is a really nice microphone when you want to do things that like for a blogging situation because that's, that is stereo sound and also it doesn't use no battery. The other microphone that, that, it has, that they have sent us is this very short SR-PMIC1 uh, directional microphone. This is a really small microphone also is powered by the battery on your camera. You don't need no battery for this microphone. And the other microphone that they have sent us that we're testing is this uh, small SR-PMIC3 and this is surround microphone. This is intended for you to use it to catch that surround sound around you. So let's take a look at each of these microphones specifically, see what they offer you. And then we're going to go to the park and we're going to test this microphone on a real situation. By the way, I want to apologize because I'm really a phonic today. I've been having a really, really hard time getting out of a call after I finish working in a project outside in the cold, in the heat of Mexico. So I'm sorry about that, but let's get this review rolling. Stay tuned. Okay guys, taking a closer look at the microphone, we're gonna start with this one, which is the sr pmic one microphone. And this microphone is a super cardioic unidirectional condenser microphone. It's a very lightweight microphone, it's really, really tiny. Just look at the size of this microphone. If I take the windshield, look at the size of the barrel. But it offers a couple of really nice features. In the back here, you have a low noise or a low code filter to 100 Hertz, which is gonna help you when you are recording in places where you've got an air conditioning unit and so on. And at the same time, at the top of the microphone here, right on the top, is where you got the connector for the 3.5 pin adapter. So basically you go from here into the camera. And the other really nice thing about this microphone is that it gets power from your camera. In my case, for people using those Sony A6000, A7 like I'm using, this is maybe gonna drain your battery a lot quicker, but at the same time, you don't need to be worried about carrying a extra battery just to power this small microphone. We're gonna do a test of this microphone and hear how it sounds on the open field. So the next microphone we're gonna be taking a look here is this little tiny uh, microphone. And this is the SR-PMI-C2. Really small, really tiny microphone. This microphone, it is a, a stereo condenser microphone. Basically, what you're getting out of this microphone is a really compact design. It's a very lightweight uh, microphone. It's a very, very small microphone but in a stereo uh, system, no mono. This is gonna be great when you're using uh, a smaller camera and you're gonna be able to blog using a stereo audio. Again, just like the, all of the other microphones on this review, the cable goes on the top and also the power for this little, little microphone is coming from the camera. Like it or not, I like it because most of the time I don't want to carry different kind of batteries 
just to power this microphone. It is amazing how lightweight and this microphone also in the back offers a low cough filter to 100 Hertz. Again, this tiny microphone, it is an a stereo microphone for your camera. And I would recommend this if you're using this microphone very close to you, like in a handheld situation with a smaller camera for you to blog or just to do regular voiceover. Let's now continue with the other microphone. This is a very specific microphone if you want to use this microphone to get, or any microphone, to get a lot of sound surrounding you. This is the SR PMIC3 microphone, and this is a surround condenser microphone. Yes, this microphone will give you the ability for you to get the surrounding area audio for your video. If you are in a situation where you want to be listening to the environment and then putting the uh, voice over on top, this microphone will help you. This also features a 100 Hz low cut in the back and this microphone is also powered by the battery in your camera. And like the other microphones that I just showed you, this microphone connects the cable that goes to the camera on the top and this part goes to the camera. Again, this microphone is covered or is powered by the power and your camera. The uh, filter or the wind filter here doesn't come up on this microphone. So be careful, if you break this, you're not gonna be able to replace it. You will have to purchase another microphone just to replace the part or just do some kind of MacGyver style okay. here. Now, the microphone that I really like the most of this bunch of microphones. All of these, the microphone, they have their own pros and cons. One is for surround work, mostly. The other one is a stereo. The other one is a very compact directional microphone. But this is the SRM3, and this is the lightweight directional condenser microphone. This microphone is pack of features in a really, really uh, a small and lightweight uh, design. If I take the windshield out, you see how small the barrel is. The windshield is really good quality, although if you're gonna be like in the beach or something like that, I would recommend a dead cat, uh, or I would call it a flurry, so nobody thinks that we're gonna kill any cat. This microphone also has a battery on the top. It's a triple A battery here, but this microphone also offers the 100 Hertz low cut filter. But here on the side, you have the option to turn your microphone on and you also have a plus DV gain right here. That is really, really good because in some situations, you are not able to get enough from uh, the, the sound that you're getting and you don't want to pop the really poor preamps that most of the company put on, the, on their cameras, specifically the SLRs. Sony puts kind of decent uh, uh, preamps on them, but if you pass 35 uh, dB gain, it's, it sounds really terrible. So getting a plus 10 dB basically will allow you that to about six feet away to keep your gain in the camera to just plus one. So getting really, really good clean audio. I imagine that these uh, preamps on this microphone is the one that they're using in their more advanced microphones. It's basically the same design. I like the fact that it has the little blue light on the side when you turn it on or you turn it off. And in the other side, you basically have here something that is unique. In this microphone, you have a headphone jack so you can monitor, okay, what you're getting from this microphone. You are monitoring right in here but also you have a mic connection. So basically you can connect another mic in here and then you get both signals into your camera. And that is really good. You can be using a second a microphone just for a scratch audio and you can combine both of these. How it works, I'm not sure yet. I haven't tested. I need to do another test on this specific feature, but this it's really nice.
Okay guys, now we are here in the field. As you see, we're in a park near the house. There is a lot of people here. And what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna test each of these different microphones. I am about six feet from the camera and we're gonna be recording at about 20 uh, dB gains on the Sony A7 Mark II. Nothing done on each of the microphone. Right now, I am recording to my lavalier here to the Tascan. So you're gonna be able to hear the difference between the microphone on the camera and the microphone on the lavalier. Okay guys, and what you're listening now at the same distance from the camera than the other microphone is the Saramonic SR-BNIC1 microphone. This is a super cardioic unidirectional uh, condenser microphone. So now I'm gonna be quiet so you are able to listen the environment sound with this microphone. So that's how the Saramonic SR-PMIC1 microphone sounds directly on the camera at about six feet from me. Okay guys, now what we're listening is to the Saramonic sr PMIC3 and this is a surround condenser microphone. This microphone is more is designed more specifically to get more of the ambient that is around the subject. It is at the same distance than the other microphone at about six feet. It is also at plus 20 dB gain on the A7 Mark II. There is no gain applied into the microphone or nothing done in pause. So, so this is how the Saramoni SR-PMI C3 sounds. Now I'm gonna be quiet and let's listen to the surrounding of this microphone because this microphone was designed specifically to get a wider feel of sound on any stage. Let's listen to it. So that's how the Saramonic SR-PMIC3 sounds. Compared to the other microphone, we are supposed to be listening a wider spectrum catching everything around this microphone because Saramonic says that this is a surround condenser microphone. Now let's jump into the next microphone. Okay guys, what you're listening now is the Saramonic SR-PMIC2 microphone. This is also a condenser microphone, but the difference is that this is a stereo condenser microphone. You are able to see and to perceive the difference of the variation between one channel and the other channel. I want to say that this is a very, very small microphone when you mount it into your camera. The microphone is still at about six feet from me. It is at the same plus 20 gain, uh, dB gain on my camera with no fancy things applied in post-production. So this is how the Saramonic SR-PMIC2 stereo condenser microphone sounds. So I'm gonna be quiet now so you can listen to the surrounding of this microphone. And that's how the Saramoni SR-PMIC2 microphone, a stereo condenser microphone sounds when nobody's talking to it. I think this is a really good microphone if you're gonna be using it for like a blogging setup, that you're gonna have it really, really close because I'm perceiving here on my wafer that the microphone is a little bit lower than the other microphone. Nevertheless, you're gonna be the judge of which of these microphones is gonna be the perfect one for you. So let's jump into the next microphone now. Okay guys, and this is the last microphone here in our comparison here on the field. We are in a park near my house. We got the Boy Scout Club doing a lot of noises in there. We got a store coming, we got a lot of birds, a lot of people passing by. I don't know how all of this is gonna sound, but this is the last microphone we are testing today. 
This is the Saramonic SR-M3 lightweight condenser directional microphone. This is the only microphone on this set of microphone that we have tested here that use a internal battery, meaning that you don't need phantom power to power this microphone or that the camera doesn't need to power the microphone. So this is how the Saramonic sr n 3 microphone sounds at the same distance from, my, from me. There is a plus 10 dB gain on the microphone, although I don't have it applied because I want all of this for microphone to have the same settings so you can listen to the different by yourself. There is also a low, low cut filter uh, on the microphone I didn't apply either. So the Saramoni S, uh, SR-M3 microphone, this is how it sounds. And now I'm going to stay quiet so you're going to notice the difference and you're going to be able to compare this microphone to the other three microphones. Okay guys, this was the Saramonic sr N3 microphone. This was a very quick test of this microphone on the field. But I wanted it for you to see the difference or to hear the difference a little bit. I got soccer players in the back. I got the Boy Scouts over there. I store in here a lot of birds. So I wish that this test was good enough for you to find out which of this microphone is the best for you. Each of these microphones has their own plus and cons. So it will be up to you to decide which of these microphones is the best. To my knowledge and how I use microphone is that I have at least three different kinds of microphone. The most important thing is guys, do not use only one microphone. Try to use at least a lavalier and on-camera microphone. So you will know that if one of those two sounds get corrupted, you lose it or whatever, you will be safe. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, my name is Frank. Thank you so much to the people from Saramoni for sending me this, all of this microphone for me to test. And again, guys, I did not pay for these microphones. Saramoni sent it to me so I can do this test for you guys. Until next time, my name is Frank. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you later.